How's your Spanish? It's damn good. It's bueno. <laughs> Muy bueno español para yo. Okay? Mi es nombre y papi chulo grande. Don't say that. All right, guys. Hey, let's get into it. <laughs> Did you like how I spit that out so fast? It's like I've been practicing. Yeah, it's like like you actually thought you were saying something yeah, cool. I, I did. Just wait till you translate that. <laughs> I like how you think I don't know what the hell you're saying. Get off my hand! Oh my love! Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We are glad you guys are here because on today's episode, we have been waiting to bust into this product for years now. For years. All right? What are you talking about? What's the product? Well, we're not waiting to bust in that for years. And what are you talking about? Yeah, we had Berserker. Berserker! Nick sent us this years not, ago. Not years. There's dust on it. There's like a couple of years. Berserker Nick sent yeah, us the dust is what makes it so old. some Cush Core XC twenty seven five. I think Homeboy intended it for going on the Comp Zerker, and then he intended to go on um, Project Gummy Worm. But guys, we have to do a tubeless wheel set and, Ber and Berserker. And Wolfman over here was like, "Hey son, why don't we install the Cush Core?" Well, I asked on, if we were going to put it on there on the Marino Cabala Project Dan. Dan Marino. Project Dan Marino. All right. So it's going Why to be is an it interesting. So difficult for you. I don't know. It's going to be. An, I've even got this. The pacifier. Yeah, that's. It, I hear speaking of difficult that this is going to be a difficult job. Well, okay? Berserker was hoping it was going to be. Well, I hear it's damn difficult if you don't have a bucket. Damn bucket. Don't look. Don't start the bucket. But why is everyone all obsessed? With just. Don't I'm going to use a bucket. Because yeah. look. Probably 99% of you probably have a bucket, but we're going to do this for no. the 1%. <laughs> no, I'm thinking not. I'm thinking most of them are not going to have a bucket. So, most of you guys don't have a bucket. We're going to see how hard this is to Dan install without a bucket. Dan probably does, because he's a painter, isn't he? Yeah, the old damn boys, he's got a bucket, I'm sure. I'm sure he's got a bucket. All the new cares always have a bucket. You never know. What? Why? It rains why a bunch they... there. They have to collect rainwater. All right. And why do they got to collect rainwater? So, we not only are going to be installing the... Cush Core oh uh, on the uh, wheel set today works. and getting a look at uh, Project Dan Marino, getting a look at it, sitting on the ground, hopefully everything goes good, but we also have to do a tubeless conversion because uh, this is a tubeless wheel set, but we have to do the rim tape, we have Whoa, to do the tubeless You just said we got a tubeless conversion because this is a tubeless wheel set? It's not set up for tubeless yet, but we're fixing to do it. Your English. Your English is bad. It's going to be an interesting episode, guys. So please, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into uh, sealing one of these rims up. All right, let's do this. All right. All right, guys, here we go with the episode. We're getting started. Hit that like button. We're going to go through the tools that uh, may be used, maybe not. I'm hoping that we use everything. Today is a successful um episode because we all know whenever you bring a truing stand into an episode it gets real all oh, right why well, whoa well we're not truing anything thank okay, god we will be um putting red tape on the rim with this i thought we just pivoted completely i thought we just pivoted like you did on the trail the other day when you gave bad directions yeah because this was i was a complete 180 yeah and this right here i thought you took us from what we were said we were going to do to you were going to try to true that rim uh -uh. that you wonkied. No, 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 no. We ain't doing that right now. That's not on today's episode, right? We won't okay. have all night. All right, guys. So we have a wheel truing stand. We're going to be putting the wheel in this, both sets of wheels. I'm just going to show you guys one that we're going to be sealing up, okay? Hopefully. Uh, now we have got our rim back here. Uh, this is a 27.5 by 28 millimeter, I believe. Um, that is a Chuck U production, one of our patrons sent us this wheel set for the uh, Dan Marino project. Uh, now we also have some LG1R downhill dual ply Apex Aramid reinforced E13 27.5 by 2.35 downhill tires. That was a mouthful. <laughs> All right, so we've got those tires and those are tubeless compatible, tubeless ready. Okay, we've got some stands, tire sealant. Um, I'm a big, uh, I think it's called Trucker Company or Tucker Company yeah, right up sealant. There. Uh, yeah, I've got a couple things over there, but I like using that. Uh, but since this is going to be a stands production, I watched a video and I did a little bit of research. They use this stuff, so we're going to use this stuff as well, okay? You uh, watched we, a video, so you're going to use it? Yeah, we've got the Cush Core 
tool. This is one of my favorite tools. Big Brother Kevin 8 sent me this. I love this thing. It's that super thing tough. Is awesome. It is super tough. And apparently we need this for today's job. Uh, we have got some JRC tubeless valve kits. And if you guys see on the tubeless valve kits when we're installing the um, the uh, Cush core, we have to make sure, see these little valves here? Not only does air come out the bottoms, but it also comes out the side. And it does say it is compatible with foam anti-puncture tire insert liners. So this is what we're going to need. We want to make sure we have that little side action, okay? Side uh, action. Side action. We have got some stands. Rim tape. This uh, uh, Wolfman game in on this because it's 33 millimeters wide, but I told him we have to have room for it to dish out. So we're no, using no, no, 33. No, 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 no. See, that's the thing. That's, that's the problem. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying you, I, I think you went a little too wide with it. Yeah, he thinks I went too because wide with it. Not about having room to dish. That's the problem. You're not having any room. Okay. Now, now let's break into this. Weight is 140 grams. Tires fits a 1.8 to a 2.4, so we're perfect. Rims, a 22 millimeter to a 32 millimeter, we're perfect. And the size is a 27.5. Total confidence. Go bigger. That's what I'm looking for this, this uh, riding season. Corner harder, ride faster. It's going to be perfect for the downhill setup. Everybody's going, well, it says XC on there. I'm Who looking, gives a damn? I'm looking for get through this season without oh, yeah. going to the hospital. All right, guys, check it out. Here is the insert. Apparently, the little studded side goes down, which I'm not used to. I'm used to the studded side going up. I thought it was green. No, it's gray. Uh, we're going to have to round out this guy here. Um, and now we have these little little pockets. You guys see those little pockets there? Those pockets are supposed to go uh, and help out the sealant on the inside, get to the outside, outside, get to the inside, and for air as well. So we've got these. Wait, what are you used to the studded side going up for? And we also have some Kush Core stickers. I'm talking about... <laughs> All right, now, let's see. Okay. What the hell are you talking about? Studded. All right. So uh, you guys can also find this stuff and some studded stuff down in the affiliate links in the description below, okay? Uh, it also comes with some very cool valve stems. These valve stems have the exact same setup where air will go out to the sides, but they're green. We're not using the green. We're using the purple because this will be a purple, blue, and uh, probably like a chrome out um, color. And then we have uh, another Kush Core deal, all right? So I like the stickers. I'm not sure if I want to put those on the rims. Eh. I don't know. I'll probably put these on my drinking container. Uh, and then all that is going to be tied together. I'm so excited about this, guys. All that's going to be tied together with the Psych Plus bike pump. This here is a rechargeable bike pump. Uh, Psych, Plus, uh, Psych, Psych Plus sent us this. It has straps. You can strap it to your bike. I put one in my fanny pack. We've got a couple of them. It uh, fits onto a press and also fits onto a Schrader valve. Um, and I used this the other day. Sucker blew up the tire pretty damn quick. So we're going to see without if we can actually get this whole setup done today without using a air compressor. I've got one over there. Probably have to use it. But maybe this guy will help seal up. These tires are brand new. The wheels completely. Everything's going to be all brand new. So we'll see if we can actually get a bead on there. And I'm curious to see if this thing right here will blow enough pressure. All right. So let's start out with sealing up this room. okay guys here we go with the wheel set these are the tires here look at how nice those are downhill tires you know them suckers are going to be fast and they're going to corner good that uh reminds me a bit of a minion ss minion ss that reminds me of oh all right wolfman come up with a great idea i think i've got some in here they are nine millimeter conversion uh skewers basically so if you have a through axle uh you can run here she is right here. If you have a through axle, uh, this is this is right here is a boost. This is a 115 by 10? 110. 110 by 15 by 110. 115 by 110. No, this here is 15 by 110. 15 by 110. This here is a skewer where you can actually put a 9 millimeter through um, and be able to accommodate a through axle if your fork does not um, have like a dropouts for a through axle. So we'll use that. Uh, this is an interesting skewer. This here is a safety skewer. This here is an anti-theft skewer. All right. You guys see that? You actually screw this on, so unless you have Are a you tool... Are making that up as you go? No, unless you have a tool to undo this, people have a hard time stealing your ride. Okay, now, when it comes to laying the tape down for a wheel set, we always want to make sure that we go with... And I'm just talking <coughs> here, guys. We always want to make sure we go with the rotation. So, the brake is always on the left side of a bike? Yeah, left side. We'll call it the drive side. So, we're going to whoa, whoa, want... Whoa, 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 whoa. The left side's not the drive side. I mean the non-drive side. I'm thinking about driving a car. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, so it's not the drive side, but it's the non-drive side. So left side, we're gonna want to go this way with it, all right? So it rolls this way so that sealant's not forcing itself under the lip. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It wasn't, it wasn't pulling hard enough. All right, I think that's good. Now, we're gonna cut it. You know you're getting old when you uh, you buy a book about music and so you can remember the music that you used to really enjoy. I mean, I've got my CDs over there, but I'd have to get them all out. Look through, like, I can't wait to look through them at some point. And just, it's just so weird. Like, I'm forgetting about stuff I used to listen to. It's not good. Well, I mean, it's just part of life. You know, you get older and... Especially because you don't, you don't, um, I don't know, you know, things come and go. You get, you get into certain things and out of certain things, you know, and it's kind of how it works. All right, guys, we are poking the hole. Poking the hole for the valve stem. Poking the hole. We got bugs in here. So, is that a damn, oh, damn, whoa. Ooh. Gotta wall her it out. All right, she's wallered. Okay. I love the color of these. Those are pretty. Um, well, you, yeah. I would think you'd like them. I mean, it's close to, it's like a purple color. Well, it's a purple color. It's purple. Well, yeah, but it's a it's a shade of purple. There's different let's shades Let's not of start. Let's not start. Look, purple's purple. Blue's blue. Red's red. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, let's not, oh, let's not no. Go there. Let's not go there. Oh, we go, we go there all the time. Well, we're not going to right now because I can't stand those people. Oh, well. No, no, it's no, a, no. It's the, the seventh shade. Yeah, no, no, you are out of your, at, you're out of your damn mind. Yeah, that, is, that, no, absolutely not. No, sir. I'm not allowing that kind of ignorance. One thing I do appreciate about this wheel set, and I don't know if they intended to do this, but um, where the valve stems are, they put a pretty thick piece of tape on there. Do you guys see that? And what always happens whenever you go to tighten one of these valve stems? You scratch the valve stem itself, and then you end up scratching the rim. But I do like that they put that tape on there. I've got me some uh, some needle nose pliers. I'm going to put a piece of rag around this because I do not want this to get ruined. But I'm going to finger tighten it first. Dude, that purple and that blue, you guys see that? That looks pretty good. I like it. Okay, so we've got that on there. Um, also, these valve stems do have the little cut out there. So you can take out the valve core whenever you go to put air. All right, so we've got that done. Now, guys, woof. Cross your fingers, because now we are going to be not using a bucket, and uh, we're going to be um, putting in this valve, uh, this uh, damn cush core. How do you think it's going to go? I don't know. I've got pretty strong hands, I've been told. <laughs> I've been told I have pretty damn... These right here are meat hooks, okay? No, they're not meat, meat hooks. hooks. They might be, you might have a strong grip. They're not meat You know what they say hooks. when a man has big hands? My hand engulfs your hand. It does. Yeah, you don't have meat hooks. Well, put your hand up on this. My hand? That engulfs it. Yeah. yeah but still, yeah. it's a pretty good hand. Putting the Kush core uh, on, on this. We'll see how this goes. Okay. All right, so here is the Kush core. You know, one thing that I do appreciate about this, I thought it was going to be super difficult because I thought this was super wide. You know what I mean? I thought it was really wide Kush core, but it's not. It's not it as wide. It doesn't look anything like I thought it looked like. Uh uh This right here is very difficult. <laughs> I'm still gonna get ass oh damn! Here you are gonna have to pull on that. Damn it! I was hoping you were gonna recruit me in there and just give them what they wanted. Zerker wants you to get this. Pull it like a rubber band. Just don't hurt yourself. I ain't gonna hurt myself. It's like a band workout. Yeah, exactly. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Oh my, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> I'm already calling it. This is really damn good, by the way. Son of a... <laughs> it's strong. All right, we're lined up. Is it lined up or not? Did it get out of line again? No, no, it's lined up. Now. Perfectly lined up. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this part. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Damn. A berserker is, and that's all it counts. My hands make sure hurt. The, make sure the tires are right. Your back's gonna hurt. <laughs> you just pulled landscaping, dude. Yeah. What the hell? Okay. So we've got that there. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to lay a lip in. 
Oh, this is going to be some. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the help. Maybe they'll hold the tire. The beat. I'm not going to hold. The hard part. This is difficult to ready, dude. The hard part is getting this lip, uh, this lip here of the tire, on the inside of this and pulling that back to get that to seal. Wow. I want to say, uh, our Are you boy. Use some soapy water or something. Hell no. I, I want to say our boy old William Page tried mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. and I think he oh, failed at it. Was he the one that said it sucked? I think he was all upset about it. <laughs> somebody was at the meetup, right? Yeah, somebody was. Um, I don't know who it was. All right, now she's starting to get hard. Well, let's calm down. Wolfman's going to hold on this side. Because I can't get this in. I got my pacifier here. How is that going to work? Look how, much, look how much it's off. This cannot be the way you're supposed to do it. Well, you need a bucket. Well, what the hell is a bucket going to do at this point? I want to know that. Now, yeah, bucket ain't going to do <laughs> right now. The serious, in, dude? Did the insert come off? Oh, it's gone. Yeah. We'll, we'll stuff it, and then we'll do the other side. That's Screw that. Thank you. Screw that damn thing. Screw that noise. Now when we put this on there, how the hell we're going to align everything? <laughs> now you're starting to understand. Yeah, because, like, you do this, and you still got to stretch that. You still got to stretch this. That's a You need to watch another video? No, the videos aren't going to help. You don't want to pull something up? No, nothing. I don't. Nothing's gonna help as far as as far as that goes, because it's supposed to be inserted in there. If we keep going the route that we're going, it's not. We're not gonna be able to put this on there. <sighs> this right here. This is something else. Well, then why don't you go grab a bucket and try that? Since a bucket ain't gonna do. That's what I'm saying too. But I've son, been joking about the bucket. Bucket can do a I'm damn not, thing. I, no, I'm I'm not disagreeing with you. But what what I'm saying is this: you're gonna look like someone that doesn't even try, and then just gives up. Damn bucket! You got a damn bucket, guys. I think it's hilarious you're doing a bucket. Man. We'll put this bad boy on there like so. I don't know what the hell this is gonna do. I want you to hold right here. I'm just gonna work on. I'm just gonna work on getting this around the rim. I mean, this is some. You definitely don't want to damage the rim when you're riding, but at the same time, it's kind of like, damn. What's gonna happen is we're gonna get this. No, the rim's not gonna bend. Chucky built this whole set. We're gonna get this. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to go to put sealant and, and air in it, and it ain't going to seal. No, it'll go in. I'm, I'm confident with that because that, that, that press the design. Come on! <laughs> Holy <laughs> sh**. It's sucking wind. Oh my god. That is something else, like, there's no way. The good thing is I can feel the edge of it. It's pretty symmetrical around the tire. But the reason is because the damn thing fits like a It is would, like would stuck you, on there, dude. Would you stop with all the talk? Check out the affiliate links. I am, I'm beat. The, the rim looks straight, but the tire's wonky. The tire's wonky, but we're gonna put some air in it and hopefully everything settles up. And if it doesn't, that's too damn bad. Uh, I am, I'm beat. Yeah. I, I am I am wore the hell out. You, you, you just got done doing about fifteen rounds of rolling. About fifteen rounds of jujitsu and um and this right here, the mental aspect. Oh my gosh. Bucket. Alright. Let's put a let's put some syringe action in here. And uh, remember please don't knock it over. This channel's all about learning. No. I'm putting this over here. This channel's nothing about learning. You know what I mean. <laughs> You, you can say you're all about learning from your mistakes, which you're not, but you can pretend that you are. All right, now, Cycle Plus, we're going to put that on there. Is that not a good looking wheel set? Or rim and tire? All right, now I think this is like the first time I've ever, or we've ever done a sealant job tubeless sealant job and it not be squirting out the sides like that's that's something to to write home about you know and i'm very happy that wolfman was like hey you know get a bucket and just 
try it. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely two people. I don't see this being a one person job whatsoever. No, I mean, you really want to have. I think one person taking their time is possible with the right equipment. All right, guys, me and Wolfman are going to get that rear wheel done. And then uh, we're going to show you this bike on the floor and uh, see what she looks like. Don't worry, we're going to edit through the uh, rear tire. We're not even going to record it. We're just going to get it done. <laughs> All right, Wolf Tick Nation, the Kush Core is put on Project Dan Marino. Stickers and all, I had to put the stickers on there. Uh, yeah, after all that work, I guess you felt like you need to show that you, you did it. Yeah, after all that work, I had to felt, we did it! You know, I want, I want people to look and go, oh, look, people can say lacing a wheel, that's like, you know, like the true... It's tedious tedious but they're like oh you're not a real bike mechanic unless you wait or lace a wheel i don't think you're a true bike mechanic unless you put some damn cush core in the wheels my fingers are so sore my grip uh i'm sure wolfman's back is killing him we were bent over that bucket i have to say probably half the time to get the rear tire done yeah the rear tire at that point i think well i don't know i don't want to say it was easier but it was a little better yeah it was uh, yeah it was a little bit better just because um, we had an idea how we're going to do it yeah i think if we had a wider rim we'd probably be a lot more successful with being able to actually put the cush core in there first like you're supposed to do it and then put the tire on there that'd be a pain in the butt got some awesome pedals i'm going to be putting on this thing from little racks man got in the butt just dropped they're purple they're a beautiful pedal um and then we'll probably probably do a, a few purple accents, probably some grips. I know Armando Cardenas, another one of our patrons sent us some grips for this. Um, so we'll probably be putting those on here, but guys, I appreciate you watching the episode. I'm so happy, I, I just can't say enough, so happy that Wolfman pushed me to get the bucket as much as it helped. I really didn't want to have another, I really didn't want to have another fail episode. Um, but you know, sometimes things just do not work out, especially when you're filming, you know, I mean, it's, what time is it right now? It is 11.17. It's 11.17. We've been going since 7 o'clock this yeah, morning. Yeah, we've been going again uh, since 7 o'clock this morning. And, um, you know, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't have it any other way. But sometimes when you're filming and getting camera shots, it gets uh, it gets difficult, you know. Yeah. Uh, attitudes start getting up there. You're hungry. You're <laughs> tired. Mainly from that guy. Uh, oh. You know, you're hungry. You're tired. You want to go to sleep. You want to come across on camera like we do, you know, with good attitudes and all that. And, um... <laughs> You know, what That's else can I say? Attitudes. Yeah. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching. And, uh, man, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to uh, become part of the uh, better part of the Wolf Dick Nation, you guys can also check out the uh, Becoming a Patron. Well, it's not for everybody. Not for everybody. we got some cool episodes on there as well. Uh, some very entertaining stuff. Me and Wolfman just regular day today. I mean, who wants to miss out on that? All right? So if you're interested uh, in that, please check. Uh, check that link out below. Buy us a cup of coffee link as well. Support really cool builds like this. Um... I'm looking forward to it, you know. Uh, we got a few more parts to get on this bike, but for the most part, I mean, she is looking clean. Uh, Kush core stickers and all. But, guys, we will see you on the next episode. Appreciate you guys watching. Yeah.